Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your June the 13th, just for today, in a meditation. Excited to finally be able to get into the actual taping. Been having such complications this morning. However, we're here together, and we're going to enjoy this morning. The title of the meditation is A Full Life. The program works a miracle in our lives. We become free to live. That comes from our basic text, page 11. Most of us, if we've been in recovery for any length of time at all, have heard some member complaining in a meeting about being terribly overworked, too busy for meetings or sponsorship or other activities. In fact, we may have been the complaining member. The days seem so full, job, family, and friends, meetings, activities, sponsorship, step work. There just aren't enough hours in the day, the member complains, to get everything done and meet everyone's demands on my time. When this happens, usually there's soft laughter from some of the other members probably members who had planned to grumble about the same sort of thing. The laughter stems from our recognition that we are complaining about the miracle of the life that is ours today. Not so long ago, few of us were capable of having any of these problems in our life. We devoted all of our energy to maintaining our active addiction. Today, we have full lives, complete with all the feelings and problems that go with living in reality. Just for today, I will remember that my life is a miracle. Instead of resenting how busy I am, I will be thankful my life is so full. Let's take a moment of silence, followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please, and thank you. Yeah, a full life. <laughs> you know, getting in recovery, the process of getting clean and staying clean means that naturally, our lives must grow to a different area, a different spot, a different point, right? Because it's not until you stop breathing that time stops moving forward for you, okay? In the here and now, the earth, right? So this ideal that I can just get clean and stay clean and not encounter some growth, it's, I mean, it's unlikely. It's unlikely. Even if I'm not working the steps, right? Even if I'm not calling my sponsor, there is going to be some level of growth in my life just as a result of not getting high anymore. If it's nothing more than just being able to be aware of my surroundings, to be able to hear the birds at five o'clock in the morning and say, oh, that is nature's music. Instead of begrudging it, oh my goodness, <laughs> the birds are chirping. It's time to, for me to figure out how to get home and get in the house without anyone noticing, if we even have a home. So as a result of being clean, there's going to be movement forward to another space and time. It's absolute. But here's the thing, with that will come other opportunities, such as jobs, education, uh, relationships, having a family that we can actually invest our time in and enjoy versus just having a family and not taking care of it. There are some things that are going to be added to our lives that we're able to 
look back and say, there was a day and a time I would not have to even concern myself even with time management. My time was simply about getting the next one and staying as high as I possibly could all of the time. Time management? What is that? So today we have a full life and we're free to live it and enjoy it. But what happens sometimes is that we get so bogged down, we get so much in our lives that we begin to resent how busy we are. We begin to lose sight of this miracle of living. And we become somewhat complacent, condescending, resentful, pessimistic, and that's not where we want to be. My only suggestion here is, is if this is you, if you are like myself, finding yourself complaining sometimes about all of the things that you have to do, start taking some of those things off of your plate. Start taking some of the low risk things off of your plate so that you can more fully enjoy those things in which you need to really be invested in. Are there some things around the house that you can delegate to another member in the home? Are the children grown enough now that they can take on cooking, take on certain cleaning projects so that you don't have to do them? And if they're small, Start allowing them to help you fold laundry and uh, to put away the groceries. Things that are low risk, they won't get hurt doing them. If you've conditioned the people around you to not help you and you share the same living environment, recondition them, recondition them that they need to contribute so that some of these higher risk things or yeah high risk things meaning that they're very important to you that you're able to invest in them without being angry or resentful that as a result of your recovery now you have a full life it's really bothersome to have a full life as a result of recovery and not be able to enjoy it Let's not do that today. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to, and I will talk to you tomorrow.